family, I'm Kalai. We are here with the gorgeous Daphne Aiking. Allow me to briefly introduce her. She's known best for remarkable roles as Malaysian television personality, an actress, a beauty guru, and an award winner. The list goes on, but this is actually not the first time we have seen her. She had the privilege to interview our founder, Datu Sri, for VCon back in 2006, and now she's back for more. Hello, Daphne. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Kalai, and everyone tuning in. Thank you for having me. I have to begin by saying that I'm a big fan. Daphne, you are a mother of four beautiful children. You have a business to run, a community to manage, and I have to say, you're looking fabulous. How do you do it all? Well, first and foremost, thank you, Kalai. But I can honestly say it's not been easy. A lot of work goes into making sure things are in order, so I like to plan my day and week in advance and I try to stick to the schedule the best I can. And I also delegate tasks or outsource help so that my time is spent productively because for me, time is a commodity. And in terms of appearances, well, as someone who is constantly interacting with people and putting myself out there, I know how important it is to look my best, especially since I'm in the entertainment line, right? So having a good skincare regime definitely helps and you have to remember when your skin is taken care of you feel so much better walking out the door and facing the world and that's my personal stance at least and I believe this is the case for most people looking and feeling good makes me feel confident I feel good and when I've got my A game going I feel great about myself and it is definitely a confidence booster which allows me to stay ahead in my business and at home is that how you came across Physio Radiance? Yeah, for the longest time, I was looking for products with the right ingredients for my skin type and concerns. So it so happened that Physio Radiance checked all the boxes and I've got the Visage Plus device, which I simply love. So yes, I'm really, really glad that I've discovered this skincare line. It seems like perfect timing, doesn't it? In my experience, I too started using Physio Radiance just as I was looking for healthy habits to adopt for my skin. Now, you're quite active on social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. There's an undeniable similarity between having followers and having prospects. In both cases, you have a group of people looking up to you, learning from you. As a social influencer, do you have any advice for our QNet networkers, especially when they have a lot on their plate? Well, for starters, when you're an influencer or role model to others, you need to start by taking care of yourself and to lead by example. So for instance, if I want to inspire my followers to use Physio Radiance, I'll be the first to do so. I'll show them how I carve a bit of time for my skincare routine during the day and night, and I'll show them how it keeps my skin healthy and radiant. I would rather show my viewers rather than you know, tell them how Physio Radiance sets the tone for the day. And I guess that's the first step in building trust. I agree. Well said. Do you see potential in using social media platforms when it comes to network marketing? Oh, definitely, Kalai. Uh, there are a lot of business opportunities with social media, but you would have to be mindful of who your target audience is. I personally like to get to know more about them on a personal level. So for instance, what are they like? What are their lifestyle preferences? What are their skin concerns? What skincare ingredients would they like to avoid? Where do they live? What are the trends in their country in terms of beauty? So once you know the answers to these questions, you get a clearer picture. And that will sort of help you tailor your posts or your presentations to their specific needs rather than address them through, you know, a global or a more generalized lens. You get to personalize the message. So with that in mind, it's easier to pick the right strategy and channels for your community. And one more thing to note, social media is called social media for a reason. You need to socialize, guys. When you're using social media with your network, it's great if you're able to engage with them, you know, to build rapport and to strengthen the trust. They will not only support you by advertising your products, but they'll also give you feedback that will help you to improve. Indeed, Daphne. In the new normal, we have all had to evolve and reinvent ourselves in more ways than one. As a networker, if I want to go digital and create a social media marketing plan, what approach do you think 
is the best one to take. I think the approach is one part of the equation. So what we mentioned previously all applies in this instance. You need to study your target audience, use the right channels, create a strategy. But the other part to consider is consistency. So allow me to elaborate more about this. Consistency produces results. If you give a presentation one or two times, it might not necessarily generate leads. The key is to do it over and over and over again. And the same goes with social media. For example, if I create this entertaining, bombastic video content and post it once every six months because, yeah, I felt like it that particular day, the progress will be much slower because there's no consistency. So while it's true that having a solid marketing plan could make or break your business, sticking to it is just as important. Thank you, Daphne. I've been enjoying this conversation. Before we end this session, I would like to ask a bonus question. How do you create a loyal following base that continues to grow? Well, Kalai, as a content creator, I need to keep my posts relevant, relatable, and I think most importantly, authentic. Now, I receive a lot of freebies and gifts from my followers and brands, but if I don't believe in the products or I'm not happy with the service, I will simply post them over my social media pages. And even for reviews, I give my honest feedback. And again, guys, it's called social media for a reason, so remember to socialize. Don't forget to engage with your followers in the comment section. You can use the tools of engagement in your Instagram stories or on your Facebook posts. I try to reply to all the DMs and messages sent to me, even if it's just giving them a heart emoji. And that makes my platform more personal, it's more real and definitely more engaging. It's a great advice. And with that, we come to the end of the segment. Thank you for your insights, Daphne. I hope to be able to pick your brain more later. It would be my pleasure and thank you for having me. It's great. QNet family, we have more sessions to come. Our experts will share their wisdom to help you become the best networker, QNet networker out there. You don't want to miss it, so stick around.